Hi guys, it's me Couture Simmer and I'm back with another part of the Sims 4 Hidden Princess Challenge LP. If you haven't seen the last part, I'll put a link in the description box below and also on the screen so you can click on that to check out the last part. But anyway, a quick recap from last time is that Nova, she went on her first date and she ended up leaving that date with a boyfriend and his name is Evan Connor, not Greg Foster because she said no way not after he was playing so many mind games and even evan was just like he doesn't deserve you and he was making that clear after they just went to hang out with a few other friends and greg foster started following along and he was showing a few stalker tendencies he was going crazy and look who it is evan connor is calling me so i'm going to answer this phone call and he wants to go on a date I actually wasn't going to make them uh, hang out this episode. I was going to make her not focus on her love life. But he has just rang and asked us on a date. So it would be rude to say no. So I'm going to say okay. And she is going to change when she gets there. Okay guys. So we have just arrived at our date location. And he is taking us to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. We're going to put a two drink limit on Nova because we don't want her getting drunk on her date. We don't want to scare him off. But yeah, I'm going to get her to change into a dress. I know it's not a formal location, but I think this time she needs to dress a bit, you know. So I'm going to get her to change into party wear one. So yeah, she's actually changed into the outfit which I did actually plan for her first date but we didn't get to change into because of everything that went on. So yeah, this is Nova's party wear outfit and yeah, let's just call this her official first date outfit. So yeah, I'm going to head inside and I'm going to sit with Evan and talk a bit. So I'll probably order us a drink. So, or no, we can't. Okay, so I'm just gonna order a drink and she's gonna have, hmm. Yeah, she's gonna have some sweet and spite, no, she's gonna have some Cupid juice because she's uncomfortable and she needs something to make her a bit flirty. So yeah, Cupid juice it is. And also I'm gonna get her to order some chips. And he's freaking out. So yeah, I'm gonna get him to come and sit over here. I'm gonna to talk to him a bit. So I'm gonna brighten day and eat your chips. Oh, she's gotta get it from that side. And let's see deep conversation we need to talk because I know you have to do 10 interactions so I need to just make sure the date isn't a complete disaster uh, deep conversation and we've got to drink our drink before we order paper juice where's my drink did I not pay for it and you've taken both drinks I'm sure I ordered a drink but anyway, if you're not going to give it to us, fine. So now I am going to get her to start a few romantic interactions. It's going to be romance and she is going to blow him a kiss and compliment his appearance. and she's gonna express fondness because she really does like him and yeah i think i'm gonna i may make them become best friends just so they can have a strong friendship as well as a relationship so romance she's 
She's going to flirt with him and hold his hands. <laughs> she likes the smell of crisps. I don't know what is going on there, but yeah, at least this romantic interaction is going on all right. And no one is, you know, pushing anyone away right now. So it's all going cool right now. Oh, it's a bit awkward. And it is super awkward. She is talking about being non committal and her broken marriage. So, what a conversation for a first day. <laughs> and we are best friends, which is great. And they're happy about that. So, she's going to give him a kiss on the cheek and also whisper seductively. Oh, it's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. That is so cute. This date just keeps getting better. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm going to offer him a massage and then we are going to have our first kiss because, oh my gosh, that was actually so cute. So yeah, she's going to head over to him and stop talking to every single person. I'm sure that is us. Has Nova got a twin? No, this is Texas Lawrence. I thought it was a Nova again because she looks so much like Nova before she went through the makeover. But it's not. Oh my gosh. And they had their first kiss and it all went all right. He didn't push her away. The relationship is going really well at the moment and I will get them to dance together as well so they can have a bit of fun and you know just let their hair down because Nova needs to have some fun. She's going through a really stressful time in her life so compliment appearance. Heartfelt compliment. Okay, so it went well, the date went well, which is an, such an achievement because it never goes well when they ask you on a date and you can't see what they want. But yeah, he said thanks for a great date and he'll talk to me soon. So Nova's love life is going perfect right now. But yeah, she needs to start getting her friendship meet up with loads of different people. So I'm going to get her to talk to Beyonce and Dina Caliente. So I'm going to get her to give them a cheerful introduction, all three of them. So I think she must have spoken to these already. Okay. Can I do more choices? No. Okay. I'm just going to do a cheerful introduction to Kyla as well. So I suppose we can do a cheerful introduction to Nancy Langrab and once we stop dancing. Okay, what's that? What, is that stopping now? Yeah, it's just stop dancing now. So it's all going well. And I'll see if there's anyone else tonight we can talk to. No. Okay. So I was just going to talk to Tisha Simma. I'm just going to compliment her outfit. And brighten her day and discuss interests. So yeah, they all seem to be getting on at the moment. They're all talking and no one's putting anyone's hair out, which is great because these sims can get really emotional. She's going to gush about partner and deep conversation as well and I think she'll call Evan over. She's 
just because it's here, we will do a sexy pose to him and carry on talking to the girls after that. So he doesn't feel lonely and stuff like that. I was watching Teddy, so yeah, it's fine. Everyone else is like, oh my gosh, this is so awkward and they all look like they want to just be swallowed into the ground because <laughs> everything went silent and they completely stopped talking. So yeah, we're not going to do any more romantic interactions with him for now while we're talking to the girls. And get to know and then she's going to ask about career. So friendly, ask about career. Okay, and they seem to be family oriented, so hopefully one day when they all have kids they'll be able to hang out together and Kyla is already a mum, so she's yeah, she's a stay-at-home mum and I guess she's enjoying it since, yeah. Discuss neighbourhood changes and tell engaging story. Tell a funny story and oh we talked to Carter as well. Who's he flirting with? Okay. Brighton Day? I'm going to tell a dramatic story to them. <laughs> and yeah, they see these girls seem to be getting on and yeah, I guess some of them are starting to go home now. I guess Kyla's got to go home to look after the kids and make sure they're all alright. They're at home to dad, but she just wants to make sure they're alright. So, next I'm going to... She needs to eat, so... Yeah, most of them are going home now, so I guess we're going to go home as well. So yeah, I'm going to send her home so she can have a meal because she's also hungry. And I think we might have work in the morning. Yep, we've got work in nine hours. So also when she gets home, I'm going to get her to work on a few of her skills that she needs to sort out before she heads off to work and starts earning that money. Okay guys, so I've just arrived home and yeah, I'm going to quickly send over in the kitchen to start cooking herself a little meal just so she can sort out her hunger and yeah we're gonna make some garden salad and it's definitely gonna be a single serving since we need to save all the money we have to pay our bills since they are so high so she's gonna read something and see how high the bills are 658 simoleons which is actually crazy and yeah I definitely don't think we will be on this land forever we probably will move somewhere else because this is crazy 658 somalian for a house this small this is tiny i don't want to be know what the bills are going to be like when we get technologies we haven't even got a telly and bills are that high okay let's speed this up hopefully she can get this needs better yeah okay so i'm gonna get her to quickly sleep for a little bit just so she can get her energy bar a bit higher before she heads off to work. Oh my gosh, she's missing work, okay. Go to work now. I can't believe that we've missed hours of work. And now she's sad because she's missing her family which is absolutely terrible. So we're gonna work really hard and we probably won't get a promotion today since we did miss the beginning of work and yeah, we didn't get a promotion. So yeah, I'm gonna end this part here. Thanks for tuning in and 
yeah if you enjoyed this part please like share comment and subscribe below thanks for watching bye